Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Welcome back to our channel, where we delve into the fascinating world of craftsmanship and home improvement. Today, we're embarking on a journey into the realm of varnishes, a topic that might seem mundane at first glance, but is actually brimming with complexity and importance. Varnish is more than just a protective coat. It's a key player in the aesthetics and durability of wooden surfaces. Whether you're a professional woodworker, a DIY enthusiast, or simply someone looking to refinish a piece of furniture, understanding the different types of varnish and their applications can make all the difference. So, let's dive in and explore the various types of varnish, their unique properties, and when to use each one. At its core, varnish is a clear, hard protective finish or film primarily used in wood finishing, but it can also be applied to other materials. The primary purpose of varnish is to protect the wood from damage while enhancing its natural beauty. Unlike paint, varnish doesn't hide the grain of the wood. Instead, it highlights it, allowing the wood's natural characteristics to shine through. There are several types of varnish available, each with distinct features, benefits, and ideal uses. Let's start with the most traditional one, oil-based varnish. Oil-based varnish is perhaps the most well-known and widely used type of varnish. It is made from a combination of resin, drying oil, and solvent. The drying oil, typically linseed oil, penetrates deeply into the wood, providing excellent durability and a rich, warm finish that enhances the wood's natural grain. One of the standout features of oil-based varnish is its ability to withstand heavy use and harsh conditions, making it ideal for high traffic areas such as floors and outdoor furniture. However, it's important to note that oil-based varnish takes longer to dry compared to other types. It can also yellow over time, which depending on your project, can either be a desirable aging effect or an unwanted change. Next on our list is spar varnish, sometimes referred to as marine varnish. Spar varnish is specifically formulated to provide superior protection against the elements, making it the go-to choice for exterior woodwork. It contains higher levels of UV inhibitors compared to regular oil-based varnish, which helps to protect the wood from the sun's harmful rays. This is particularly beneficial for outdoor furniture, decks, and boats that are constantly exposed to sunlight and moisture. Spar varnish remains flexible even after it dries, allowing it to expand and contract with the wood as it responds to changes in temperature and humidity. This flexibility helps to prevent cracking and peeling, ensuring long-lasting protection. As we move indoors, let's discuss water-based varnish, also known as acrylic varnish. This type of varnish has gained popularity in recent years due to its low odor, fast drying time, and easy cleanup with soap and water. Water-based varnish is less toxic than oil-based varnish, making it a more environmentally friendly option. It dries to a clear finish that doesn't yellow over time, preserving the natural color of the wood. This makes it an excellent choice for light-colored woods and for projects where you want to maintain the wood's original appearance. However, while water-based varnish provides good protection, it may not be as durable as oil-based varnish in high traffic areas. It's ideal for furniture, cabinets, and other indoor wood surfaces that aren't subjected to heavy wear and tear. Another popular type of varnish is polyurethane varnish, which comes in both oil-based and water-based formulations. Polyurethane varnish is renowned for its superior durability and resistance to scratches, heat, and chemicals. It forms a hard, protective shell on the surface of the wood, making it perfect for surfaces that need to withstand heavy use, such as floors, tabletops, and kitchen countertops. Oil-based polyurethane tends to provide a warmer tone and is slightly more durable, while water-based polyurethane dries faster, is easier to clean up, and remains clear over time. The choice between oil-based and water-based polyurethane often comes down to personal preference and the specific needs of your project. 
For those working on fine woodworking projects or musical instruments, shellac varnish might be the preferred choice. Shellac is a natural resin secreted by the lac bug, dissolved in alcohol to create a liquid varnish. It dries quickly and produces a beautiful high gloss finish that enhances the depth and richness of the wood's color. One of the unique qualities of shellac is that it's easy to repair. New coats of shellac dissolve into the previous ones, allowing for seamless touch-ups. However, shellac isn't as durable as other varnishes and can be damaged by heat, alcohol, and water, making it less suitable for surfaces that will see heavy use or exposure to moisture. Now, let's turn our attention to varnish used in the art world. Damar varnish, made from the resin of the Damar tree, is a popular choice for artists. It's often used as a final varnish for oil paintings, providing a protective coat that enhances the vibrancy of colors and adds a glossy finish. Damar varnish is also used in woodworking for its ability to add a warm, glowing appearance to the wood. However, it's not as durable as other types of varnish and can yellow over time. It's best used for decorative pieces and artwork that won't be subjected to heavy wear and tear. With all these options, how do you choose the right varnish for your project? Start by considering the location and use of the piece. For outdoor furniture or any wood exposed to the elements, spar varnish is your best bet. For high traffic areas like floors and countertops, polyurethane varnish offers the durability you need. If you're working on a fine woodworking project or an art piece, shellac or damar varnish might be the way to go. For indoor furniture and cabinets, water-based varnish provides a clear, easy-to-apply finish. And if you prefer a traditional warm look and don't mind a longer drying time, oil-based varnish could be the right choice. Application technique is another crucial factor to consider. Each type of varnish has its own specific application process. Oil-based varnish requires careful brushing to avoid bubbles and an extended drying time between coats. Water-based varnish dries quickly, so you'll need to work fast and apply thin, even coats. Polyurethane can be applied with a brush or a spray, and it's important to sand lightly between coats to ensure a smooth finish. Shellac is usually applied with a brush or a pad in thin, multiple layers, while Damar varnish can be brushed or sprayed on artwork. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions and work in a well-ventilated area to achieve the best results. The type of varnish you choose can significantly impact the look and longevity of your wood project. By understanding the properties and ideal uses of different varnishes, you can make an informed decision that suits your specific needs. Whether you're protecting a beloved piece of furniture, finishing a floor, or adding the final touches to a work of art, there's a varnish out there that's perfect for the job. So next time you embark on a woodworking project, take a moment to consider which varnish will bring out the best in your work. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the world of varnishes. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.